How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Last time I had the YJ out. It was at Badlands. It was a, about a month ago. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. What I'm doing today is I'm working on the YJ. The brakes are fine, but I want to relocate them. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so my brake calipers are hanging low. I want to move them up. I kind of want to just rotate them up to get them out of the way of rocks. Because when I was at Badlands, I bashed them into a couple rocks. I didn't like it. I was afraid that I was going to have a major brake issue. So we're going to try and get this rear end taken apart and relocated. Um, in order to do that, these, so I'll take the calipers off, but I'm gonna have to take the axles out, the axle shafts, so I can take the rotor off of the unit bearing. And then I'll be able to take off these brackets back here. So the whole thing has come out, come apart, just to try and rotate them up. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to. I may end up having to switch caliper sides. I'm not sure what's gonna to have to happen yet, but we're gonna get into it. All right, so as you can see, <clears throat> I've got the axle is already unbolted right here. Got my brake caliper and everything off. So I'm gonna pull my axle shaft out and hopefully I don't lose, all right, we'll lose a little bit of fluid. Hopefully I don't lose a lot. I shouldn't, we'll see. I shouldn't lose too much. Let's say that, I'm losing a bunch. All right, I'm gonna kinda lean that up somewhere out of the way for right now. All right, so I don't know how familiar you are with 14 bolts, but inside here, you got your bearings and there is a snap ring here you have to take out. And this, it's like a big nut right there. It takes a special socket to get them out. You don't have to use a special socket, but you, I mean, you can. So I'm gonna take a snap ring out. We're gonna take that nut off there and we should be able to pull this rotor off all right there it is that's what it looked like with the rotor off so like i said you pull your snap ring and then you do have to take this this key out and then your your nut and that's the end result so now i can take these bolts out and rotate this bracket up and put the bearing you know put the rotor everything back on and put the caliper back on and see see what happens here all right so got this bracket here loose it's got just four bolts here 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 and here gonna come off I've already taken it off so I can, it's kind of loose but and then basically all you do you rotate it up You just bolt it back on and hopefully it works. I'm just wondering why it wasn't done like that to begin with. So we're gonna, I'm gonna get this all bolted back together and see, see if it works. I don't know if it's gonna work. Might, might not work. Might work. I don't know. Alrighty. So the caliber is back on there. I didn't put the key or the uh, snap ring in it yet, but it's on there. So now I'm gonna take my caliper, I can find my little brake pad, and try and put this on. So the issue I already knew I was gonna have is the brake line running into the spring. I knew that was going to happen. So, let me try and feed it around. 
For one, I, I don't know if my, my bleeder is going to be pointing where it needs to be pointing. It needs to be pointing. It needs to be the highest point. So that way you can get our air out. But right now, my line is hitting the spring. So that's not good. So I'm going to have to figure something out about that. Let me ponder on it. All right, so this is what I came up with. It's on. Bleeder valve is at the top. I All I had to do was kind of just massage this brake line out a little. Straighten it up this way. And then on that end, over there, I kind of tweaked it a little bit. And now everything clears. Doesn't get in the way. Bolt it up. It's on top. See the difference? Looking from the back here. See how far that one is hanging down? And now that one's up. I'm not going to bash it on rocks anymore. I still got to get it all back together, do this side. Once I get both sides finished, I'll. it'll probably be tomorrow. It's already around midnight or so. Probably tomorrow or the next day, I'll take it somewhere, somewhere close by and flex it out both ways to make sure it's not gonna, make sure that caliper's not gonna get into anything that it doesn't need to be getting into. And then should be good after that. So I'm gonna get this back together, get the other side done, we'll be right back. Check it out. I don't know if you can really tell how big that is. I'm gonna put my crock next to it. That moth is huge. Look. Look at the size of that thing. Massive. My cat was just chasing it. That moth just flew back into the back of there somewhere. There it is. See that guy back in the back? He's probably gonna come out here and attack me. Whoa, there he goes. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa there, fella. You gonna let me pick you up and get you out of my garage here? Nope. Ah! He's just going crazy. Oh boy, now that that's over with. I'm gonna attack by a giant moth. I don't know, I don't even know what kind of moth that is. But it's out to get me. So I just got super lucky. I had a bolt that was broke. That bolt right there was bolt off. Was bolt off. Bolt off. The broke off inside there. I got it out with a pick. Can't believe I was that lucky. Okay, so since I don't have a direct replacement for that bolt that broke, I've got one that fits, but it's a little bit too long, so I have to cut it off a little bit. Make it just a wee bit shorter.
something I always do if I'm making a bolt smaller. So I'll go ahead and put a nut all the way up on it. That way I can, when I take the nut off, it helps clean those threads up. All right, I went ahead and slammed this side together real quick. So you can see how much higher it sits. It was way down here, and that's way up there on both sides. Whole lot more clearance, and it's up out of the way, out of the danger zone. So I'm going to slap the tires back on here and make sure there's no rubbing issues. All right. Neat little trick to putting big tires back on. These things weigh, shoot, I don't even know what they weigh. Probably 100 pounds, 250 pounds or something. I don't know. But you take a pry bar, big pry bar, or pipe or whatever you got, lay it right here on the floor. Roll your tire on top of it. And then you pick up the end. It's going to be kind of hard. But you can raise it up. And slide your tire right on there. A whole lot easier than trying to manhandle it, pick it up, put it between your legs, lift it, whatever. I'm not man enough to do it. If you are, good for you. I'm not. All right. There you have it. Tires are bolted back up. No rubbing. On both sides, everything looks good. So, I think I'm going to take this. Probably going to take down to my buddy's house down the road. Maybe tomorrow or the next day, uh, get the, the fork truck underneath of it, get it flexed out as much as I can to make sure nothing is going to rub anywhere. I don't, I don't know why these brakes were put down low like that from the beginning. I didn't originally build this rig. I bought it about 85% complete. Uh, I mean, it was a wheelable rig when I got it, but there was a few things that needed addressed before I felt comfortable taking a wheeling. I was going to go ahead and do the brakes um, when I got it, but I didn't. Wheeled it a couple times, bashed it around on the rocks. Luckily, nothing happened. Went ahead and just, just I just went ahead and wheeled it. I shouldn't have, but I did. Nothing happened. So I did have to fix a few welds. Some welds were cracked. Uh, the brakes were the biggest thing. I'm glad I got those done today. So in the next couple of days, I'll get it on a fork truck, get this thing flexed out, make sure it's not going to rub anywhere, and go from there. So we'll see. we'll see what happens. We'll be right back. All right, here it is two or three days later. I am not gonna get a chance to take this thing out and get it all flexed out everything like I wanted to do. So I apologize about that. Um, I do have a couple of projects in mind in store for this thing. I had some parts show up, so keep a lookout for those. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it, it means a lot. Um, comment on this video like the video share the video do all that good 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 stuff and we will see you next time